I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be talking about the Medical Scribes Training Institute's online emergency department course. It starts off with a lesson that gives a thorough snapshot into the life of the ED staff, including the importance of ED medical scribes. What is awesome about working in an ED is not just the range of acute illnesses and diverse people you'll see, but also knowing you're extremely helpful to prevent physician burnout. Next, an ED scribe role video goes over all sorts of situations you may encounter as an ED scribe, including patient attitudes towards scribes. It lays out exactly what you should do to prepare for the job and the conflicts you might face on the job. This section is very relevant. You'll get a clear layout of terms you've never heard before, like triage, disposition, AMA, elopement, and you will need to know them thoroughly in your role. The ED training even includes advice regarding workplace stress, unlike other training modules. It goes over how to prepare and handle upsetting and stressful situations as an ED scribe. Your ED training course includes a long section on emergency medicine terminology and pathophysiology. While the general course covers your basic anatomy and patho terms, this course discusses procedures that are common to the ED, like cardiac monitoring, and terms you should know related to ED flow and services. People come in with all sorts of conditions to the ED, from muscle pain to heart attacks, Sometimes you watch your doctor move extremely fast to stabilize a patient, and it's important to write down everything you can. This is why it's helpful to know your patho ahead of time and in deep detail, which this training course provides. If someone comes in and is having a heart attack, you won't be able to know terms that are being shouted out, and you want to know it right in the moment rather than having to ask your provider in the middle of a life-saving process for clarification. However, if there's anything you miss, just to make a note that is going to remind you of what you think you heard and ask the provider when the whole process is over. Let them be in the moment to save patients and you can ask for help with the chart afterwards. After learning about ED terminology and pathophysiology, this coursework will teach you about common diagnostic tests and procedures. EKGs, which measure the electrical rhythm of the heart, are very common in the ED. So you will get some training on how your provider will typically read EKGs out to you. You will also learn about some common radiology or imaging tests and lab tests that will be ordered. Knowing this information is helpful since you will often rewrite what was ordered in the MDM or medical decision-making portion of your scribe note. Finally, the course ends with some clinical scenarios, which puts you in the actual simulation of what you might see in an ED. You will get the chance to write three practice notes and compare them to the three notes written in the lessons videos. Nothing helps you learn more than hands-on work, so really make sure you practice in this section of the coursework. Like the other MSTI courses, you will take a comprehensive final exam at the end of the course. Make sure you take solid notes throughout your lessons and try to review and remember the right answers to the quizzes that you took throughout the lessons because some of these quiz questions just might reappear on the final exam. You should aim to do your best on this final exam because you need to get an 80% or higher in order to pass the course because this will show your emergency department employer that you are truly ready to work in the fun, fast-paced environment of emergency medicine. Good luck taking this ED course and feel free to reach out to Medical Scribes Training Institute with any questions.